Hi, I'm Anne Main, the Member again. for St Albans, and thank you so much. I know some aren't my constituents here today, but what a fantastic turnout. Um, I spoke to a few people here, and I'm kind of giving away secrets, really. My, co my constituent, Keith Cotton, got me involved in this. So wherever Keith is, wave. You've got him to thank or blame. Wave. He rang me up and said, what are you doing about this? And I said, well, I actually abstained on the grounds that we felt nothing could be done for years. The House had a great deal of sympathy with the farmers. There was a lot of pressure to try and tackle TB. And I think many MPs were in that position. They either lent their support or they abstained on the grounds that we're not a very rural constituency and the pressures were very, very high for other MPs. But since Keith got hold of me, and I mean that, he said, challenge the science and ask the questions. So I tabled a lot of questions got a lot of answers that didn't make a lot of sense and started really the ball rolling. As a result, I had down two EDMs, which are basically statements in the House, signed by one was over 140 MPs and another was about 100 MPs, saying they were seriously concerned about some of the findings coming out with the cull. After that, I presented the Backbench Business Committee and we had a debate in Westminster Hall, but you can't vote in Westminster Hall. But more MPs could got into the debate than could speak. People like Tracy Crouch, who some of you might have heard of, very keen to stop the cull. She didn't get to speak. I had three minutes. So I went back to the Backbench Business Committee about two months ago and said, I want a debate on the floor of the House. Every time I had an EDM, every time I've spoken, I've said, it's got to come back before the House. You were given support for a pilot cull. You were not given carte blanche to just roll on with this, regardless of how effective it was or how inhumane it was. You have got to come back to the House. Now, the Minister, of course, has not responded to any of those calls. So I presented the Backbench Business Committee, and I have been offered the date for the 13th of March. Now, unless that date is pulled because something happens like the Crimea is invaded or something, and I'm not being facetious here, but these things are, you know, evolving. That debate will be announced on Tuesday, and then it's going to happen. Your MPs, if you're not my constituents, will have the opportunity to vote to stop the cull, the rollout, because as we speak, farmers are applying for licenses to cull. And I met with the NFU yesterday, and I'm not popular as you can possibly imagine and some are my constituents and I feel for them but I said you know what if we'd been presented with what we know now and asked to support something that was only going to be 30% effective that was seen to be inhumane and actually may cause an increase in TB through perturbation I don't think the house would have voted for it at all so I think there are MPs and some names have been mentioned to me today who either lent their support on the grounds that they were persuaded that something had to be done or like myself did not vote on the grounds that I was unhappy about killing a protected species but accepted the farmers were equally unhappy about the loss of their stock. So I think we have a chance of winning. The whipping is going to be huge. MPs that are on the payroll, which is ministers and so on, will be the best they could hope is to abstain, so have a bit of sympathy if your MP is one of those. But if, like me as a backbench, it's the only fun, in inverted commas, of being a backbench is you can sometimes do what you think is right. Now, obviously, this will make the government very unhappy if they lose their current project of badger culling as what they're doing. But as I said to the NFU, you have to come up with some arguments, some answers, and some way forward that is better than this. You cannot expect members of Parliament who represent constituents such as yourselves to continue supporting something that's been shown to be inhumane and cruel. So watch out for the announcements on Tuesday. If you are not my constituents, well even if you are, but you can ask your MP if you can go and listen to the debate. There will be tickets in the gallery. But more to point, if you're not going to go, please contact your MP and say, look at what the debate says. It notes all the failings and ask that the cull is stopped with no more rollouts until we've come up with a better way forward. And I don't see why your MP couldn't consider supporting that. They may give you their reasons. I'm not asking them to say never do anything, but just stop it now, no more granting of licenses. So I hope today this will be very public. I hope it will translate into the media, but even if it doesn't, believe me, once that announcement comes out on Tuesday, you will note the media because there will be, they will be taking a big interest.
if whether or not the MPs are going to change their mind. So thank you for coming. It's been a pleasure. I hope I can show that MPs can and do listen. When the argument is against what they want to do, we've got to listen. It's ridiculous to keep doing something that makes no sense. And that's all I'm saying. Come back with something that makes sense, is humane, and deals with TV. So thank you for coming today.